I am Jeannie Brown. I'm the daughter of Deborah Dietz, and I'm sorry, I'm the daughter of Eugene Dietz, the sister of Deborah Dietz. Um, it's been a long 25 years, horrible 25 years. What I saw today with him being executed is nothing to the day it happened on August 7th, 1989. This was nothing. I don't believe he was gasping for air. I don't believe he was suffering. Sounded to me as though he was snoring. Finally, it's come to a part of our lives that we can put somewhat of this behind us and continue and move forward. Although I still have to live the rest of my life without my sister and my father. So everybody here from what I heard said it was excruciating. You don't know what excruciating is. What's excruciating is seeing your dad lying there in a pool of blood, seeing your sister lying there in a pool of blood. That's excruciating. This man deserved it. And I shouldn't really call him a man. He deserved everything he had coming to him. Do you feel like justice was served? It, it took too long. I, I, I can't, this is ridiculous. 25 years later for this to go through after appeal, after appeal, after appeal. It, it's ridiculous, the paperwork I have. It, it, it's just insane. In the last week, the ups and downs of, yes, it's going through, no, the motion of deny. It, it, it's ridiculous. It's emotionally crazy to have to do what I have been through. Not only myself, my husband, and my sister standing in the back of the room, which wishes not to speak at this time. Question for you. Um, you. You talk about how you, he didn't appear to be suffering, he appeared to be snoring, and you know there's been this controversy about these two drugs. Do you wish it had been done a different way so you didn't have this hour and 50 minutes that it could have been done quicker so there wouldn't be this debate, there wouldn't be the witnesses describing it as, as him struggling? I, re I really can't answer that. Um, how many members of your family? There's three of us, myself, my sister, and my husband, who's standing right next to me. And can you spell out your name? J-E-A-N-N-E, -E, Jeannie, last name Brown, B-R-O-W-N. When he gave his last words, what, do, you think, do you think he was sincere? Did you, did you buy any of that? No. No, he wasn't sincere until the last minute when he turned around and smiled and laughed at us. He smiled and laughed at you? Yes. Yes, because nobody sees the real picture of what took place the last 25 years or what took the place that happened on August 7, 1989. Everybody's more worried about, did he suffer? Who really suffered was my dad and my sister when they were killed. So what do you have to say to the people that, uh, protesters that are outside saying that this is inhumane? It is not inhumane. Have it happen to one of their family members and see how they feel. No, he wasn't suffering. He was sleeping. He was sleeping. A couple times when the microphone came on, you could hear him snoring. Not gasping for air. No, he wasn't gasping for air. And at the